along the James River. And that's number nine, number eight, number four, seven, six, nine. Romance, worth watching. Looking for the perfect branch for the nest. Joni Carlson is a Virginia master naturalist. Still getting used to the nest numbers of the three that I'm monitoring. And the Jamestown Settlement tour guide says it was meant to be. I actually met master naturalists that came to my yard because they had heard I raised monarch butterflies. They were having a field trip in my own yard. Hunting for details of an elite hunter the osprey. You see him bringing the fish to her? You know, this was part of my DNA. Commuting on the Jamestown Scotland Ferry helps Carlson keep an eye on these powerful predators. I'm excited. <laughs> Reporting to ospreywatch.org, a global community of people just like her. And even though Carlson's fairly new at watching raptors, I've been monitoring them every day going back and forth on the river and I've delighted in them, but I've never watched them. Her observations are sharper than osprey talons. Yellow golden eyes. Along the way, no detail escapes her notebook. She's chirping. She's on a nest and she's trying to, to kind of woo him. He has caught a fish. When the pair arrives, whether it thrives or not. He'll feed her with that fish, I'm certain of it. And while she says osprey are a bit like families who spend time apart. They tend to mate for life, so the male goes to his place in South America and the female goes to her place in South America so they hook back up on these breeding grounds. Carlson says this bird bonding is much more than a yearly ritual for her. For me it's it's worshiping the creator through my yard and through natural things and to know that people also get excited you know whatever their background about the same thing I was excited in it was just a real comfort it was like finding your own tribe. At the Jamestown Scotland Ferry I'm Nina Napolitano for VDOT.